Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Araceli. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a DIY Dollar Tree spring decor for the door. <laughs> but before I get into that DIY, if you guys have any information on who broke my spring centerpiece, please call the number below. Someone was very clever in trying to put that thing back together, but unfortunately they were missing the glue and I have fingerprints, but they're just too smudged. Anyways, back to our regular programming. <laughs> These are the supplies that I'm gonna be using for this project. I have three floral stems. All of this is from the Dollar Tree. So I have three floral stems. I have some rope, this burlap ribbon, this piece of trellis that you can find in like the garden section. Uh, I have some twine. This is not from the Dollar Tree, but you can find some there. So I'm also gonna be using just a little bit of, of this. I'm gonna take the very bottom parts off because this is what you put into the grass um, and I'm not gonna use it for the lawn. So it's easier if I do it with my hand than with the pliers. I'm gonna measure out about eight inches from the top of the foam board and I'm gonna cut that piece off. I'm gonna make a mark on the foam board about every four inches. And what I'm gonna do is make a design that looks like a picket fence. going to trace that line I had already done with my pencil. Now I'm going to take a little bit of my acrylic paint, my brush, it's going to kind of make this look a little distressed. So while that dries, I am gonna cut out some pieces of my ribbon. On this part, what I'm gonna do is layer them. Um, so I'll start out with a smaller piece. So I'm gonna put some hot glue right at the top of the ribbon here. And I'm gonna put the second strip right on top of that. Try to be careful with it because it's really hot and it's burlap so it's obviously going to go right through and burn your fingers if you're not careful. If you guys can find a bigger piece of burlap where you can just cut out the square, um, that will work also but I couldn't find any and I don't think I have any around so I'm just going to do this. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to take the foam board. I'm going to place the, tre the trellis right on top of it and then I'm going to poke a couple of holes on each side of the trellis here. So as you can see, I loop that right around and then I'm gonna tie it from the other end. So I'm gonna put glue right at the bottom here. And again, it's super hot, so you can use a little tool to kind of set it down rather than using your fingers. That would probably be a great idea so you don't burn yourself like I just did. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the ends, but I'm gonna make it to where you can actually lift it up a little bit to make that pocket, and that way it's not so tight in there. So 
So once this is all glued down, I'm going to take that rope and I am going to go ahead and just do like a border around it. So I'm going to hot glue it down just to give it a little extra touch and then also a little more support to actually glue the whole thing, the whole thing down and it doesn't come up. take my exacto knife and I'm just gonna make a hole or like right at the top of the foam board and then I'm gonna thread my rope in through there once I knot it put hot glue right around that hole and then set the rope down So that's it for today's video uh, as you can see it was actually really simple and it's one of the quicker DIYs that I've done um, so getting ready for spring and then as you can see in the background I can't do it <laughs> um, there's a DIY back there and there's a bunch of stuff down here that I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys at a later time thanks again so much for watching and I'm gonna go ahead and end it how I usually do. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> Leave your comments down below. And I'll see you guys on the next one. And if you have any information on the mysterious broken centerpiece, let me know. Family, I know it's one of you. Don't know who, but I'll find out. I'm gonna have to take my, uh, criminal justice degree and put it into action. Fingerprints. Proof. <laughs> Bye guys.